compute the antiderivative of 5x squared minus 4x plus 3, all divided by x to the 1 4th dx. So let's begin. We have the antiderivative of this expression. I'm just going to copy it down first, because the first order of business is to prep this expression into something more useful. Notice that it has a denominator, so I'm just going to bring that denominator up to the top and have x to the minus 1 4th, sorry, x to the negative 4, times 5x squared minus 4x plus 3 dx. Now notice that this is a product, and products are good news for an integral, because it means we either expand or we use a substitution. And notice that we can distribute in here, so let's do that. Distributing that x to the negative 4 in, we're going to have 5 times x to the negative 2 minus 4 times x to the negative 3 plus 3 times x to the negative 4 dx. That's our new antiderivative. Now that this has been expanded, we can break this up into three separate pieces. 5 times an antiderivative, minus 4 times another antiderivative, plus 3 times a third antiderivative. And we'll just do them separately. The antiderivative x to the minus 2, up the power by 1, divide by the new. The antiderivative here, up the power by 1, negative 2, divide by negative 2. And for x to the minus 4, up the power by 1 to a minus 3, and divide by a minus 3. And so here is our raw antiderivative. Let's clean it up minus 5x to the minus 1, minus minus 2x to the minus 2, minus 3 thirds, or x to the minus 3. There's one antiderivative, and here's all of them. And so this would be an expression for the general antiderivative. If you feel obligated to write fractions, this is also negative 5 divided by x, plus 2 divided by x squared, minus 1 divided by x cubed, plus c. I don't really have a preference either way.